Hi everyone! Okay, so you're gonna forgive me for sounding weird, but I am sick. I am sick! Wow, I am sick. I don't remember the last time I was sick. The last time I do remember being sick was like the first, in the first year of mine and Manny's relationship, which would be like two and almost and a half years ago. So the first of February will be a year, two years and a half together. So two and a half years ago, it was, I don't know, but I was sick. And Manny brought Lipton's chicken noodle cup of noodles? And uh, he brought other stuff, uh, but I don't like cup of noodles. I prefer actually doing it in a pot. It tastes better. I don't like the way it tastes like that when they do like the, the cup thing. But anyway, um, I'm sick. I was sick yesterday. And then if you watch my um, video, like my vlogmas video of today, today, that's my phone, today's vlogmas video, you'll know why I also feel like, I feel like crap. I feel so, <laughs> shut up phone, I'm so drained and just sore in places and yeah. So I don't want, I'm not going to get into that in, in this video, but I'm sick. And something else that I told you in my video from uh, Vlogmas today. So, but anyway, we're gonna get into the video. And I just finished Wild Orchids by Jude Devereaux. And I am keeping this book, because I do like this story. I love the story. I love the plot and the storyline in general. I love it. And the back history, I love it in general. And I do love it. It's a very good book. But there are two, mainly one thing in general. Like, two, mainly one thing that is hampering it's like, this is a super excellent book. I love it so fucking much. I did, and um, I'll get to that, but the first thing I want to tell you is that I did listen to this on CD or tape. I can't remember what, but I did listen to it. Basically, I listened to an audiobook, and I loved it. I loved listening to it. It sounded a lot better. Some of the things that are in this, it sounded different. I remembering it slightly differently from the audiobook to the um the, the actual book but pretty much it was straight i remember exactly word for word pretty much now to get to why it's not a fucking excellent book and i told and just all of that is the way she explained certain certain things and like explained and wrote out the um the back history of the whole mystery part of this book my voice is also quite it's dry so forgive me and then the other thing is i will show you exactly what is that we go back and forth between chapters of ford and jackie our two main characters let's see there's that so we go back and forth between the two it's and it's in first person and this it was so annoying because it would go all the way through and then we basically backtrack more and then go forward so it's like we've got this chunk here and then this chunk which is like the next chapter basically starts hmm. we're gonna use this hand so we so basically this is the first chapter and then the next chapter it basically goes like this so this chunk here it starts somewhere right here and then overlaps the last part of the first the first chapter previous chapter and then it continues on a little more and then it goes like this and then this is really annoying that's the only like really big part that i found really annoying is the fact that we go back and forth between the two perspectives and we're basically like overlapping and recapping every single time with the beginning of like every single chapter it's really annoying now if it's part of a series and you're recapping from a previous book that's totally fine like it's usually like right in the beginning chapter as to where we're sort of like recapping it's like this is what happened previously and how and these events here led up to this book here sort of thing yeah, this, I really, I, as I said, I love the, um, I love the characters in general, and I do enjoy Ford and Jackie, but Jackie's character, I hate, like, I feel like basically she contradicts, like, a lot of the time. Like, the first half, 
or like first two thirds of the book she was perfectly fine but then in the last third she's like totally contradicting herself like the way her personality is and it's just really annoying I like I would prefer like it's not to say that I don't like seeing a person or a character grow it's just that she just completely lost her character and like the way that her character is and acts and feels and such it's really annoying but other than that, that was my only problem with these characters. Not much, because I do, I did very much enjoy it. And I enjoyed listening to it, I enjoyed reading it, and I'm keeping this book. It's not a huge favorite, to say. But I did enjoy this. I will read this again. I probably won't read it as much as, like, certain other books that I love, that I'm keeping. But I do... I did enjoy reading this and I love the the back history of like this mystery and like how like we find out this horrific thing and it's like something about your past or like Jackie's past and and you gotta find out like um, what happened in the past and so that you can fix the present and hopefully fix make the future a lot happier place I like I love that about stuff like reading and watching stuff I love 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 that part of the stuff and this is why i'm keeping this book is because she did a very good job of doing that she did not do so well of a job in someone to love yes but yes i did i don't enjoy reading first person unless it's first person of one person consistently if you're gonna have like this like multiples like multiple people's like um, explaining like how they feel and like they're describing stuff how they feel about it it I prefer it better as like a third person because that's how I write if I'm doing it's always in third person and I always I am always like this is how they're feeling how like they're describe they're describing things that are some to themselves but not in such perfect perfect first person like detailed sort of way but it's yeah <laughs> I was very delirious last night, and I still feel, like, slightly delirious. That's my dad. I recommend this book. I do recommend reading it. More over than all of her other books. Especially the two that I personally read. I haven't read any of her other stuff, but I do recommend this book. This was a very good book, especially for those who like that mystery of, uh, like, that murder mystery of, like, who done it, why done it, and, like sort of like um kind of like have like a magical aspect to it you know because there's like this this the, 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 the there they will trace the mystery of a woman said to have loved the devil himself so you got like you know devil magic and such like that it's very good i liked it i recommend it to read it if you especially if you like this this sort of things that go on in this book I do recommend it and uh, if you like Jude um this is a book that I do recommend that you read of her of the books that she's written I do recommend that you read this one if you like her in general and yeah it's not uh, sort of the romance novel that I usually like that has like a lot of sex has sex like in the middle of happens in like the middle of the book and like the second half the sex I'm very disappointed in the lack of sex and the sexiness in this book. To my personal taste, it, it, I feel there wasn't enough in here. Other people might say there wasn't en perfectly enough, but to me, there wasn't really enough. So, anyway, I am keeping this book and I recommend this book for you to read. Here is my next book, the library book. It is Hollow City, or the ho no, it's just Hollow City, the second novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. Trilogy by Ransom Riggs, and I just started it, so it's all good, and I am on, where am I? Oh, stop that. I am on chapter three, and this book is a little damaged somehow, which is really annoying. So, oh wow, you are very much damaged. Oh, wow. Somebody damaged this book. Holy crap. Crap. Like, there's a section of it from the spine here that's, like, torn off. Like, it's sort of slanted. So, like, this section is a little torn here, this section is torn here. So, 
when you open it a certain way, it tilts forward, but when you close it, it tilts up, and it's just so damaged. I gotta up the exposure on this. There we go. So, on the back here, it's just pictures and, um, uh, review type things. So there's that there. And then, like, this is the front cover. So, we're gonna get to this part, because I have not even read this, and I'm dying to read this part. Okay. September 3rd, 1940. The peculiar children flee an army of deadly monsters, and only one person can help them. But she's trapped in the body of a bird. It's all that explanation point there. The extraordinary journey that began in Miss Peregrine's, Peregrine's home for peculiar children continues as Jacob... Portman and his newfound friends journey to London, the peculiar capital of the world. There, they hope to find a cure for their beloved headmistress, Miss Peregrine, but in this war-torn war city, hideous surprises lurk around every corner, and before Jacob can deliver the peculiar children to safety, he must make an important decision about his love for Emma Bloom. Hollow City draws readers into a richly imagined world of telepathy, time loop of sideshows, and shapeshifters. A world populated with adult peculiars, ad oh, cool. murderous white, and a bizarre menagerie of uncanny animals. Like its predecessor, this second novel in the Peculiar Children series blends thrilling fantasy with never-before-published vintage photography to create a one-of-a-kind reading experience. And then that's just the biography. So yeah, this will be interesting. And after this, I will read the um, the graphic novel. And apparently there, as most of you should already know, there is a, um, um, a book called The Peculiar Tales, or Peculiar Tales, something like that. And it's the um the book that is mentioned in here about apparently all these peculiar tales and they're like they're considered fairy tales i'm guess i think among the peculiars i'm not huge on this like i did love it and i'm dying to watch the movie i didn't watch it in the theater so i'll watch it sometime on tv but i'm not a huge fanatic fan as i am of other things but i do really enjoy this book so i'm not great on certain terms and such about this book and i'm getting my information uh from uh jesse the reader which i will link down below in the comment in the doobly doo and he recently just informed us that ransom is doing another trilogy or like another side series within the world now he doesn't know 100 percent of what it is he just knows that it's in the peculiar world doesn't and he doesn't know if it's a continuation of the trilogy or if it's set farther back in the history, like how the beginning of the Whites and the Hollow Gas, you know, came to be about that that time, or if it's about uh, I don't know, I don't know. But apparently, Ransom is doing more peculiar books, more like this type of thing. So that should be interesting, and I'm glad I'm reading this because this is a good book. And yeah, so this is my next book to read. And apparently there's parts to this book because right here it says part one. I haven't checked to see how many parts there are because I don't want to be like, because you can see, you can tell where, um, the chapters begin and like where the vintage photography is but i don't want to be doing that and i because i might come across a, like a, a picture i don't want to i want to view the picture right when i'm turning the page as i'm reading it so that i'm surprised and i'm not like yeah so anyway this is my next book and um that's my book review i'm still doing vlogmas and I eventually will have I will have the decorations up because that needs to happen and hopefully dad will get me a bin soon because I'd like to put those away and like the other stuff I have over there this is all like I just organized all this stuff so I gotta deal with that so I hope you liked this little sick book review that I just did and I'm sorry it's not that enthusiastic but I kind of for some reason I'm leaving off my stuff right now like I'm not read I'm not constantly reading as I used to 
which is not good. Since I'm watching Pokemon, I'm trying to read. When I'm watching like the episodes or like the seasons, I'm trying to watch it during the um the the opening and ending credits. I'm trying to read during that time. Right now, I am watching movie three because you know I'm just gonna watch. I'm gonna go through. You know, like the list of the order of when things happen, just to keep constant because, you know, I'm, yeah, yeah. And cert I wish certain movies were just, you know, movies done after every season because it would just make sense to do that. But anyway, I hope you like this video and if you did, hit that like button down there. And if you have any comments, and you know, uh, let me know how you liked about this. If you liked it, leave in the comments below. And if you have any recommendations, please, if you like Jude and have read her other books, not the one, not these three that I have read, but her other stuff, and you know any similar ones that are written like this and have similar stuff to The Wild Orchid, please leave it in the comments below. I would be happy to, eventually. Because I did enjoy this, and it would, you know, maybe she's not crap as, as, because two out of three are crap books to me, personally. Yeah. But, if they, you find, if you know of any similar ones to the Wild Orchids, totally leave in the comments below. And, you know, you know, no, no, yes. And don't, and don't be leaving negativity in the comments below, because we do not need negativity, negativity in the world, because we don't need that. We already have ISIS, and we already have, like, the possible freakout with Donald Trump. So, we don't need that, okay? We do not need negativity in the world, alright? And if this first time you're watching my video, please hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture. If it's still there, for more book reviews, hauls, unboxing, unbagging, because some things come in a mint. Bubble wrap, manila envelope, or a plastic baggie wrap thingy. Vlogmas, random vlogs, and random random videos that I have no idea where to categorize them. Alright, so I'm losing my light. So, we're gonna end this video, and I'm going to deal with stuff, and watch more Pokemon, there, and, you know, when I'm done dealing with some of the stuff, I'm gonna play with my pets. Okay, so, and I'm gonna go eat, because I gotta have a shower tonight. So, excuse me, and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone!